What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I am sorry for the, uh, the gap in between uploads here. I've been really busy rebirthing. However, I would, I would just really like it if you guys subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer and closer to 5k by the day. Really trying to hit that goal, so it would mean a lot to me. Alright, let's get into the video now. Before we get started, just, just please note that I did get to test these a little bit early, and these are pretty confusing items, so... I personally don't think I'll be using them, but they're really, really cool items regardless, so I felt obligated to make a video, especially because some of them are really, really confusing. If you want to test these yourself, there are a few items you'll need. You're going to need a raised mini converter. Let's make a little toolkit actually over here. We need some basic furnaces, some basic conveyor ramps, you know, what's up, some basic conveyors, should be obvious. Some mines. Oh, well, I just bought one and sold one. Okay. And then we're also going to need a large converter ramp. And uh, some hydraulic conveyors. All right, let's get into it. First item we have is the ghost vacuum. So, what you want to do... This item does not have a multiplier, just a heads up. I've done a lot of testing to make sure this is true, and it does not have any multiplier. We'll just give you $2. However, it's really unique, actually, and it could be used for some really interesting stuff. So, regardless, very, very cool item nonetheless. Oh, damn, they actually- Whoa, I didn't- Whoa! New thumbnails! I'm not really too happy with them, but could be a lot worse, so I, I'm I'm chilling. Oh, no, that's even worse. God dang it. We're gonna- we're just gonna move on and pretend we didn't see that, all right? All right, perfect. Grand! Sorry, I'm, I'm really not in the mood for the bad thumbnails. Bad thumbnail. All right, all jokes aside, though- Got the new soaring chopper. This looks really cool, and it actually is. So how this works is, by the way, sorry if I sound absurdly, like, horribly enthusiastic. I'm very tired, and I'm just doing this to stay awake. Because I got a long night of grinding tonight, so. All right, so this is where we're gonna need one of those ramps with a converter. Oh my God, God damn it. All right, let's get this bread now. So how this works is to normal ores, it sets them on fire and does a times four. To boomite ore, it does a times 10. Super cool item. Actually trying to give the boomite ore some use for once. Really loving that. Other than that, pretty basic item, but nonetheless really cool. Probably can do some really cool stuff with this. It's definitely a really wide um, gap from, you know, the left to the right for the walls, so could definitely do some cool stuff with that, maybe. Now we have this item. I really have a lot of hope in this item. It's so good. So essentially, it's really weird, to say, to say the least. It says, changes sizes, multiplier, and all that good stuff. Uh, it, it's based on the size of the ore, to say the least. Um, I don't know what the minimum and maximum sizes are, but I'm pretty sure the maximum multiplier I've seen is like a times five or times six. But this seems to be doing a times five pretty good. It's also resizing my or my ore is really weird, so. This item has a lot of potential, regardless. It's a really cool item. I like it. Actually, like, I really like that. That's so cool. And we just have a normal basic item upcoming right over here. We have the chicken leg cookout. I'm pretty sure this is just a basic times 3.5. Plays a really annoying noise. I would actually get tired of that. I'm already tired of listening to that. So, 3.5 times multiplier, pretty solid if you ask me. The vault is really interesting. 
it will like okay so how do i put this it's going to multiply your ores value by something regarding the stocks i think for roblox i don't really know to be honest this item is really weird and i don't want to like i i don't want to give any false answers but apparently it has to do with how stocks are doing regarding the rblx stock price so i don't know but it looks pretty promising i mean that's a pretty damn good multiplier if you ask me other than that good item that's for sure all right let's get back into the upgraders hopefully all right boys so now we have an item i actually haven't gotten to try yet it's called the eggy sentry turret so we have friend joe here we're gonna test this out See if you could dodge this. Oh, yo, that's actually really dope. All right, uh, just stand still. Let's see how long it takes to, to kill. That does a shitload of damage. All right, yeah, you could run now. It's really dope. I love that. That's cool. Been wanting something like that in the game for a while. I'm obviously not going to place it back down, though, so. But yeah, really cool item overall. Really, really happy with that. All right, next up, we have the Cactus Mirage. That's what it was called. I can't remember what this does, so give me a second here. Oh, well, thank you for breaking my game. The game broke its own... Oh, how? Gotta love it. All right, so here we have the Cactus Mirage, I think it's called. Um... Let's see. So, the only thing I remember is... Um... It's not working. Okay. Well, that's... It's pretty cool! I thought I remembered something cool about this, but I guess I was wrong. Maybe I was thinking of one of the other items. Well, that's... Gotta love it. Best item in the game, that's for sure. Alright. Radio tower. I was really interesting. Very interested in seeing how this worked. Uh, oh. Wait. Give me a second. Okay, so my friend told me that how this works is it's like cosmic tower but with metal ores. So I, I don't really know what that means too much. I know that it, how cosmic tower works, so this is really cool to see another. But I don't know what you consider metal ores, so I don't know. But it looks really cool. Um, and I'm probably gonna see what the multi is. Give me a second here. See, boys, I am a genius. I'm, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. See, boys, everyone watching this video right now, just know I am a genius. I, 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 I'm gonna call with some friends right now, and I just guess this shit. I guessed it and it works. See, I am a genius. I am actually Einstein IQ. All right, now we have the lucky hat. So this item is actually really, really cool. It's another way up high. I'm always really excited to see what these bring to the table. So they're always really interesting items. However, let's, uh, let's see. It's pretty big to say the least. Um, I did not expect it to be this big. Um, let's see. Whoa. All right, so the actual stats of this item is your ore has a one in 10 chance to get a shield, a five in 10 for some other effect someone told me about, and then otherwise it's a six times. So it's pretty weird to say the least. It's definitely a very weird item. I don't know what that other effect is and I'll try to get you some info on it. I'm just reading what I was told from my friend who also tests the game with me, so. All right, next, we have got the Tankium Mine. This thing is the most fucking weird item ever, I swear. It's too much like a tank. This, like, nobody's going to use this. <laughs> nobody is going to use this. Absolutely Real nobody. gun turn one? Oh my god, don't even, dude. This is like... <laughs> It's cool, but I don't think I'll ever use it. Its ore value is 4 million, so it's not that high to begin with. But overall, I like the, uh, I like where you're going. 
He's got the spirit, just kind of confused. All right, then we got the wall of rock stars. You get 10. They're pretty cool. I like them. Very stylish. Keeping it fresh. You know what's up. I like the reds. I like the blues, especially. Oh, wait, what songs we got? All right. I don't know what the hell that is. Then there's just some random Roblox dude. There's a Far Guild soundtrack. Aw, the Far Guilds, aka Cats, the Void, and then the Life of Far Guild. What are these garbage soundtracks, dude? Holy shit, I want my money back. Far Guild was the worst thing that happened to Miner's Haven. What? All right, on a serious note though, let's get this done soon. Spore Egg Hut, very cool item, 100%. So, let's go ahead and get out our basic conveyor. You already know what's up. Let's put this down. Okay, it's pretty good. So, based off of what my friend is telling me, give me a second, I'm gonna ask him. All right, so there's a 50% chance to poison the ore and a 50% chance to cure ore from effects. Uh, it does a standalone 4.5 times, so pretty good. Um, the poison could be pretty setup ruining though. However, just put a deadly spore after it, use some fire before it in case it doesn't work, and then you'll still get the multiplier from deadly spore. And then if it ends up working, then you'll just end up getting it anyways. So it's pretty good. Could get some really clever shit done with this, actually. I might use this for a setup soon. So, who knows? I'll tell you if I could find any really cool stuff to do this with. Next. All right, so to say the least, this was not anything simple, but I'm gonna read exactly what I was told by my friend. Changes the transparency of an ore from around one to zero. The multiplier ranges based on the transparency's value with one or so being the highest, max multiplier is an eight, minimum is a three. So that's pretty damn interesting. However, I don't know if this is something I'd use straight up because I just don't know how consistent this could be and it's pretty weird, but it's definitely a really cool item. However, I just don't really know if this is something I'd like you to use myself. Otherwise, dope, love the creativity with it, 100%. All right, here we have the final Ferbage thingy. I don't know how to pronounce it. You could yell at me if I'm wrong. Either way, essentially, um, it will turn your ore into diamond, ruby, gold, or emerald, and dep depending on like the gem it turns into, that's where the multiplier changes, um, as well as gives it some effects. Like one of them gives sparkling, I'm pretty sure. One of them gives fire. One is fireproof, and then I think the other one is poison. But I I'm not too sure, uh, honestly, on that. Uh, we haven't figured those out or no wait hold on give me give me a second okay so i was wrong the, there is no poison there's only no status effect for that one okay so i d i don't know what they are though so i will try to figure that out soon otherwise it seems like a solid times 12 so pretty happy with that to be honest it's pretty good or not times 12 uh, times 6 but pretty good pretty good definitely really good Next, we have the Borkers. I think this is from the Baby Borker Egg. Yeah, this is the Baby Borker Egg. So, cool item, for sure. It's small, I like it. Times seven, apparently. It says, the smaller the ore will result in giving you a better multiplier. Um, size is less than 0.5 does around times seven, sizes one above um, is times four, applies the dog water effect, which is permanent wet, apparently. So that's really cool, new effect, I think. So I like that. Then we have the last and final item. Oh wait, we never did soapy refiner, I'm so sorry. We have two items. This seems to just do a times three, um, as far as I could tell. For the most part, though, it's actually pretty solid. I mean, if it's just a times three, 
nothing else to it. Pretty good. Nice beam as well. It's small. It's only three units. Now let's see where that other item is. Give me a minute here, boys. Alright, boys. Sorry about that, but I had to go check if I had all the eggs on me, and I think I do. So I think I assumed there was an item, but I don't think there is. Um, I think that's everything. If any more items come in, I will surely be aware of it and let you guys know. Other than that, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you like it. Dislike if you didn't. Uh, like if you did. And uh, as always, just sub. I'm trying to get to 5k as soon as possible. So yeah, thanks and uh, take care. Peace.